Tweco Technology Advantages. Tweco designed fabricator 3-in-1 welders by combining an analog power switching inverter with a digital control platform. Using advanced technology enabled Tweco to pack the fabricator with performance and functions typically found on industrial units. Let's take a closer look at their benefits. Fast process changeover. Changing process literally takes seconds with 3-in-1 welders. In the time it takes to watch this section, you can change from the MIG to stick process and switching to TIG welding doesn't take much longer. The Fabricator 252i makes switching processes even faster. Dual gas solenoid valves enable running two gas types. And when switching between a spool gun and the Tweco Fusion gun, don't worry. Just pull the trigger and the 252i automatically knows which gun you're using. Power factor correction. Worried about tripping breakers? That's less of an issue with 3-in-1 welders because they draw less primary current than conventional MIG welders. You'll get full rated output on a smaller circuit, as well as get full output power in the field using smaller generators. Inductance control. Think of inductance control as a shock absorber for MIG welding. Inductance control smooths the arc for better stability, less spatter, and faster post-weld cleanup. Inductance also affects wet out or puddle fluidity. Good wet out helps the bead tie into the toes or edges of the weld, prevent undercut and enhance bead appearance. Wire burn back control. This function prevents the wire from freezing in the weld puddle after you let go of the trigger. It also improves MIG arc starts by adjusting how much wire sticks out of the contact tip at the end of a weld. For MIG welding with most wires, adjust the burn back control so that 1 8 to 1 quarter inch of wire sticks out. If there's a large ball at the end of the wire, reduce the amount of burn back as the ball will promote an erratic arc start. Stick Hot Start. This function works automatically in all 3-in-1 units and it's also adjustable on the Fabricator 252i. Hot start increases amperage for a few milliseconds during arc start. This helps prevent the rod from sticking and it promotes better penetration on a cold plate. Adjustable stick arc force. By adjusting the stick arc characteristics, you can tailor the arc for different types of electrodes and for different welding situations. As a general rule, use more arc force for 7018 electrodes to create a more driving arc and to prevent them from sticking in tight gaps. On 60 series electrodes, generally use less arc force. In any event, consult the setup chart inside your 3-in-1 welder for recommended settings. Lift TIG Arc Start. Lift TIG provides an alternative to high frequency arc starts and scratch starts. Done properly, it will provide a weld bead free from tungsten inclusions. Downslope ramps down the current at the end of a TIG weld. It gives the puddle a chance to cool slightly which prevents the formation of a crater that could subsequently promote cracking. 2T or 4T trigger hold. These functions work with the MIG and TIG process. 2T is what most people refer to as normal operation, in that the 3-in-1 welder turns the arc on or off, respectively, as you pull or release the trigger. 4T provides a trigger hold, or a latch function. When you pull the trigger and release it for the first time, the arc remains on. This prevents hand fatigue when making longer welds. To break arc, pull and release the trigger for a second time. In the world of welding, operating speed rules. 3-in-1 welders run 640 times faster than conventional welders and 16 times faster than competitive inverters. As a result, 3-in-1 welders deliver optimized performance with all welding processes. Further. They can detect and resolve erratic arc conditions, such as those that lead to poor arc starts or stuck electrodes, before competitive units even sense there's a problem. Multi-process versatility, outstanding value, compact portability, simplicity, and arc performance that lets you weld at your best. Isn't it time you formed a lasting bond with a new Tweco welder?